Use the introducer tool provided to pass the loaded delivery catheter and bare wire through the hemostasis valve of the guide catheter or introducer sheath. Notice the proximal indicator bands are positioned at 90 centimeters and 100 centimeters from the distal tip of the delivery catheter to aid catheter introduction. Advance the delivery catheter through the guide catheter or introducer sheath to a location proximal to the lesion. Advance the bare wire across the lesion. Position the 3 cm radiopaque portion of the bare wire in a suitable section of the vessel distal to the intended filtration element deployment site. Carefully advance the delivery catheter over the bare wire to the intended filtration element deployment site. Do not torque or pull back on the delivery catheter during advancement. Torquing the bare wire against resistance may cause wire damage and or tip separation. Before filtration element deployment, ensure there is adequate distance between the 0.019 inch step on the bare wire and the distal tip of the filtration element to avoid unnecessary contact during the procedure. Ensure there is adequate distance between the proximal tip of the filtration element and the most distal tip of any interventional device to be introduced over the bare wire to avoid contact during the procedure. Once the delivery catheter is positioned, the filtration element may be deployed. Remove the red locking clip from the black handle of the delivery catheter. Hold the black handle steady and pull back on the white pull handle to deploy the filtration element. Deployment is occurring when the distal marker band on the delivery catheter moves proximally away from the marker bands on the filtration element. Verify the filtration element placement and assess perfusion. Maintain bare wire position and remove the delivery catheter. Notice the single distal indicator band is positioned 15 centimeters from the rapid exchange exit port and the twin distal indicator bands are located 5 cm from the rapid exchange exit port to aid catheter retrieval. Open the hemostasis valve after the twin distal indicator bands become visible. Discard the delivery catheter after removal. Proceed with the required interventions over the bare wire.